Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian. Uh, I caught this 14 inch brown yesterday when we were doing our podcast. And so I wanted to go ahead and cook it up and show you guys the easiest way to debone a trout. So what I'll do is I'll clean the interior and then I'll stuff it full of these lemon wedges here. So we'll go ahead and pull these out. Wow, I baked this really good. It's just falling apart. This is going to be absolutely fantastic. Um, I also take an additional piece of tin foil and put it down underneath because this one will probably leak. You don't want it to get all over everything and then create um, that fish odor. But the best, easiest way to do this is you come in and you just put your fork down on, on the underside here. And I tested it earlier, so it's already ready to go. But all you do is you just simply pull up like this. Whoops. Yeah, we're doing good. Then you just start pulling up like this right here. You see how the bones come up? All right, so we got a few sticking out. There's two right there. Let's see, everything else looks pretty good. So this this is really good meat right here. This is all a huge fillet. Right, look at that. Ooh, it smells so incredibly good. It's unreal. So you see how this it, once it's baked fully. You'll see how it just it all just sticks together pretty much, you know. Down here at the tail, you always find that you kind of have to finagle it off a little bit, but you're good to go there. And then so you can take this and kind of pull it over here to the side. Got this last bit of meat. Gosh, it looks good. It just looks phenomenal. Okay, but over here with this this part now, same thing. Just pull the tail up, insert a fork right on the other side of the tail. And then, of course, the tail falls off when I'm going to do this. But you can go ahead and grab the skeleton. And all you do is just lightly pull up. Then as you're pulling up, you'll have a little bit of meat that may stick. But you'll see how all the bones start getting pulled out of here. Okay? And you have a few scra scragglers, and that's, that's pretty par for the course. So all you do is come back through and just take a few of them out like that. And that way you get all the bones out of the trout. That's the biggest, that's one of the biggest problems of eating this fish is if you don't know how to debone it, you know, you'll literally spend your entire meal just picking through fish meat trying to get the bones out. And, you know, that's no good. So I'm going to go ahead and just get them all out as easy as possible without totally decimating the uh, filet of meat. And then you just pull them over. A nice big one right here. Oh, this is going to be a ton of food for dinner. I'm very thankful for this. This is awesome. I wasn't planning on harvesting a trout, but unfortunately the fly or the hook was set so deep <clears throat> that I couldn't get it out and it was puncturing the, um, the gills. And when you do that, the fish have a tendency to bleed out and die anyway. And so... I wanted to go ahead and, um, you know, if this, if this one was going to die, go ahead and get a little nourishment out of it. But normally I just catch and release. And lo and behold, Sierra just showed up. <laughs> Look at that. So um, I'll go ahead. There's a little bit more meat I can pick off here. Give a little taste. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. But you can see here, I pretty much filled up like half of a plate with incredibly awesome organic trout meat. Then I'm going to do some fruit. And uh, I think I've got, I think I've got some potato salad as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and enjoy this. I'm gonna taste a little sample real quick. Oh my gosh, that's phenomenal! All right, I'll tell you debone a trout. And then also make sure you properly um, get rid of your your fish fish uh, you know stuff that's left over because that'll attract animals. So make sure you dispose of that properly. But anyway, that's how to debone a trout. And if you've got any questions, hit me up in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.